Hey you guys, so it is time for, girl, I don't know what's going on with the camera. I don't know, something's going on. JV's in there building. Um, so it's time for another story time. Now, I've already shared this series or this story with JB. This is going to be a three part. I'll fix you a drink, get you some snacks, uh, get you some water. Yeah, water, get you some water, girl. Um, and get you some snacks because we're going to jump into it. So the main character of this story is a little boy. JB, is he 9 or 10 years old? He's like 10. 9 or 10. Um, and his name is Landon. Landon lives up in Ohio with his mother and his little brother, little John John, and his stepfather. Now, unfortunately, Landon's father has... Um, his father left when he was just a baby and then his mother remarried and that's how little John John came about. So y'all have to excuse me because sometimes I like to get into character and basically tell these people's lines like I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm the person. So that's what I'll do every now and then. So don't be confused girl if I start sounding like a nine year old. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning and Landon awakes to um, his parents uh, yelling in their bedroom. This has become quite often in their household and he understands that adults sometimes, you know, like to argue, but their his parents have been arguing a lot more often. So later on in the afternoon, as they're having dinner, his mother kind of clears her throat and say, um, Landon, um, I have some exciting news for you. Um, we're going to be spending the summer down in Alabama with Aunt Denise and her children. And Landon's eyes kind of light up. He's like, oh, really? She's like, yeah, baby, we're going to go down there, me, you, and John John, and we're going to spend the entire summer there. So John John kind of, excuse me, Landon kind of looks at his stepfather. He's like, so you're not coming? And the stepfather kind of looks down at his plate and says, no, son, I'm not coming. But he's like, hey, I'll be able to visit you guys every now and then. So Landon's like, well, how long are we going to stay? And so Landon's mother said, just for the month, we're just there to help Aunt Denise with the kids for the summertime. Aunt Denise had apparently had an accident um, earlier in the year and was trying to, you know, she had been on disability and was getting help from um, their grandmother that also lives there, but um, she still needs additional help. So he's like, so when are we leaving? And that's when the mother said, we're gonna be leaving next week. Lynn is like, next week, mama, but that's so soon. I don't even get, get a, I won't even get a chance to say bye to my friend. She said, baby, you'll be back in a month. There's no need to say bye to anyone. So he's like, oh, okay. So fast forward to the next week, they um, load up a rental car and they head down to Alabama. Now Landon had only been to Alabama once before and the only thing he remembered was it being hot and hot. <laughs> That's all he remembered, child. When they arrived, the mother when they arrived, they pull up into some apartment complex and they get out the car, you know, Landon Landon mother shout, Y'all get out now. And so um Landon helps little John John out of his cart seat. Little John John is just two years old, going on three, so he's just a toddler, okay. Helps little John John out of his car and um his mother uh, and they all go up to what looks like an office and they gather some keys and go into the apartment. The apartment's kind of small and stuffy. And so they go into a, uh, one of the bedrooms and Landon, Landon mother turns around and said, this is where you guys would be sleeping. And he's like, mama, one, one bedroom? I, you mean I gotta share a bedroom with John John? She's like, yes, it's okay. She said, but, he's like, but John John pees in a bed. Mama, she said, Landon, you guys would have separate beds and sometimes John John can sleep with me. He looked down and said, okay then. She said, well now I need for you to go ahead and unpack because in the morning we're gonna go ahead and go see Aunt Denise and the kids. So, Lyndon unpacks, he's very tired so he doesn't unpack everything. He unpacks what he can so he can go ahead and go to bed. The next morning they drive over to Aunt Denise. She lives in an apartment complex about 20 minutes away, so not too far. So, so not too far away, he's listening to the story. Not too far away, okay. So as they arrive, he sees his cousins out, at least the younger cousins out, waving at them as they're pulling in. They already recognize um, his mother. So Aunt Denise has four kids. She has a 16-year-old, a 14-year-old, and two twins, 10-year-old twins, that are basically the same age as Landon. Now he hasn't seen his cousins in like two or three years, so he's excited to see them too. So um, as they park the, the, 
the smaller kids and the 12 year olds. She's 12, 10, 12, and 16. Yeah, 10, 12, and 16. Tiffany, and um, we don't have a name for the 16 year old yet. And she really doesn't have to have a name because she's not gonna be in the story as much. But Tiffany is. The two year old twins are knocking on um, Landon's window and asking him that, you know, roll it down. And so he rolls it down. And um, the twins' name, there's Red. I don't, I forgot his real name, JB. His nickname is Red. And Passion is the little girl. They call him Red, the little boy Red, because he has undertones of red in his hair. Got red hair, child. So Red and Passion. And Passion was like, you look at you. Why don't you go ahead and get out the car? So Landon kind of looks at her and he gets out. Um, and she looks at him, she's like, oh, he, he's tall, Red. He's about as tall as you are. Red looked at Landon and said, no, he's not. We're about the same height. So, you know, they hug and um, um, that's when Patches said, come on, why don't I show you my room? So they go inside the apartment complex and um, Passion shows uh, land in her room that she shares with Tiffany and then um, Red has his own room and of course the older the older daughter has her own room Okay, so anyway you guys um, they just make small talk. They have um, Lunch over Aunt Denise and Aunt Denise is still not doing too well. She has problems with her back That's what ha that's what has happened since the car accident She has had problems with her back and sometimes she has dizzy spells. Okay, according to the doctor They're not they're not sure why they're out hanging out at the local playground That's in the apartment complex and that's when um, passion said hey Landon um, Next time you come we should go in the woods and check out that old crazy cat woman And that's when red eyes kind of darkened when she said that and Landon looks kind of confused. He said, crazy cat woman. Um, and Portia's like, yeah, there's some crazy old woman that lives out in the woods. And some people think she's a witch. That's when Red says, she ain't no witch. <laughs> Red says, she ain't no witch. Um, Passion said, yes, she is. Um, that's why you were so scared when you saw her. And Red didn't say anything. And Landon looked at Red. He said, you saw her? You saw the old woman? And Red just shook his head, yes. So they left it at that. <laughs> said their goodbyes and went home um a couple of days go by and they're settling into the um the apartment into alabama but landon is not sure if he could get used to the humidity because it's nothing like ohio everything's just totally different down in the south so um they go they go over to Aunt Denise's house almost every weekend though. And finally one weekend is when Passion finally tried to convince them all to go into the woods. So Passion said, Landon, this one, this one weekend they were all together, Landon, we're gonna go ahead and try to go into the woods and this time Tiffany's gonna go with us. So that way mama won't suspect anything. Red kind of looked scared. He said, I don't think we should go in those woods. Passion said, you're just a scaredy cat. And he says, I'm not no scaredy cat. <laughs> so Tiffany comes out she had been in the um, bedroom braiding her hair she's like y'all ready and so they all shook their heads so um, passion sh shots over to her mom she said mama we're gonna go um, over to so-and-so's house and we'll be back and so underneath said, okay y'all just be back before dinner so they all shake their head yes right so they head on out towards the woods as they get towards the edge of the woods, that's when Tiffany turns around. She has her cell phone. She says, y'all, y'all go in there by yourself, but only be in there for 10 minutes. And then that's when she taps Passion on her shoulder. She said, look here, little girl, 10 minutes. Passion said, okay, 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all crack myself up. So they head on out into the woods and Landon is a bit nervous. So they're walking out. So Landon shouts over to the twins are walking in front of him because they know where to go right and it's not very thick there's a trail so they're following a trail um big tall pine and oak trees um but it's not too thick you know and it's not as bad as he thought it would be it's not as scary so um red set up ahead <coughs> red set up ahead he said actually there's a couple of people that live in these woods so it's not as bad but that crazy cat lady you got to just stay away from and Patsy shook her head and she's like, I don't think that lady is crazy as y'all think. So they're walking, walking and suddenly there was an open clearance and up ahead is where Landon saw a small little house. Now it wasn't a shack, it wasn't a run down house, but he, he could tell it was fairly old and probably needed some work on too. And so 
Passion turned around and whispered, there it is right there, Landon. That's the house where the old lady, the old cat lady lives in. And Landon looked at it. He couldn't see anything going on. He didn't see any lights or anything inside of the house. And so that's when he's, he whispered, he's like, why you call her an old cat woman? So Portia kind of leaned in and said, well, um, rumor has it that apparently she's been stealing all the neighborhood cats and doing things to them. That's when Red rolled his out. He said, you just making up stories. Passion turned around. She said, uh-uh, that's what they told me at school. So it's true. So they start walking towards, towards the house, child. They're probably around 20 to 30 foot, feet away. That's when Passion turns around and said, Landon, I dare you to go up there and knock on the door. Landon wasn't too sure. His heart started racing a little bit, but he wasn't no chicken. And so Red kind of says, Red kind of said under his breath, he said, y'all, I think we should go ahead and go back home. Mama's probably looking for us. Passion said, you just getting scared again, Red. Landon's not scared though, right, Landon? Landon kind of hesitated, but then he finally got up and said, no, I'm not scared. I'll go up there. So Landon starts walking, taking his time. Halfway there, he turns around and he sees Portia bit down kind of laughing next to her twin brother, right? So he goes ahead and make his way up. And then he looks, there's two windows. He looks in and it's, he kind of can't see inside. He sees a little bit of furniture and shadows, but he really can't make out anything. So he looks around and he thought to himself, this has to be a joke. No one lives in this house. They're just doing this to test me. So he turns around and says, there ain't nobody here. No one lives in this house. There's nothing gonna happen. All of a sudden he sees Portia face change and she's doing like this to be quiet. And he sees Red saying, come on, come on, come on. He said, you guys are just trying to trick me. You trying to scare me, but I'm not easily scared. There's nobody here. There's nothing going on. It's probably Tiffany in this old shack. That's when he turned around and standing in the doorway was this older black woman with long, curly, gray, silver hair. And that's when everything turned black for Landon. That's it for part one. <laughs>